Muskogee Creek art student Maddie Lamb recently moved to Santa Fe to further her education at the Institute of American Indian Arts. And welcome into the studio, Miss Maddie Lamb. She is a Muskogee Creek citizen, as we said out there in Santa Fe, New Mexico at the in Institute of American Indian Arts. And Maddie, it's so glad, uh, we're so glad to have you on the program. We've had you on before, of course, when you were a student there at Sequoia High School, but now uh, g have gone on to College of the Muskogee Nation and have now transferred out to uh, what you've called your dream school. So tell us a little bit about uh, what it's been like to finally get out to Santa Fe and be at the Institute of American Indian Arts. So far, it's been really, really awesome. Uh, everybody out here is really inspiring and really encouraging, and they just want you to do your best out here. Uh, the environment out here is just super nice. We're surrounded by mountains. Like, it's just completely different from, you know, back home, but it's amazing. Yeah, and you're someone that's, you know, of course very young, but you're used to being, um, you know, in the news and the headlines and, and being able to be interviewed and things like that because of all the stuff that you've done and all the work that you've been recognized for and specifically with a, a national organization like uh, Unity. And um, what Unity is, it's basically a network of tribal youth councils around the country. Now, you've been recognized by them before um, with a 25 under 25, I believe. You can tell us a little bit about that. But, but what's it been like to, to sort of work with them and be able to write for them and talk about your art with them and everything? Well, Unity is just an amazing program by itself. They're really encouraging for uh, with the youth and everything, they really want us to do our best and they really want to highlight what we're doing in our communities. So Unity recognized all the stuff that I was doing, you know, from moving from College of the Muskogee Nation all the way out here to Santa Fe and starting a new life and um, just all the things that I've been doing, uh, they've been really, really supportive. So like with the 25 under 25, I was recognized back in July for that. And then, um, uh, upon coming out here, they had asked me if I wanted to do a Wellness Warrior poster, which is basically just a poster that shows three different sides of a person. So like, uh, you know, being active or like exercising and then, you know, if they do business or mine was art. So I did, you know, three different sides of myself and they put it all into one poster. It's a really cool really cool thing. Mine hasn't come out yet, but it's supposed to come out this fall, and uh, that was a really cool experience, though. Like, Unity has just been really, really supportive of fun coming out here. Right, and and I, I, and I know that you're very excited to not only be a part of the organization, but like you said, be able to institute some of your own art into the work to help further that organization as well. And I know that, you know, you've done big pieces before, like we said, um, you were on the show before, and it was because of the mural at Sequoia High School. You know, that mural's still there. It's not going anywhere. And I think you talked a little bit about, uh, to Teen Vogue magazine even, about how, you know, that's sort of a legacy that kids yeah. f that go to Sequoia for years will be able to see that. Yeah, that was the whole point of it, too. I mean, it's still living on, you know, past me being there. I still get all kinds of questions about it and, uh, you know, just interest on it. But, um, so yeah, I mean, it's just, really been just a good past couple of years everything's been leading up to this moment and you know just helping me become better with my art yeah and what's so neat is that you're in santa fe now and it's such a reputable school um so many great native artists and just artists in general have come from that area and everything like that but specifically that school and now that you're there you're also in a place that holds one of the most prestigious maybe the most prestigious uh, art events in all of the world, and that's the Santa Fe Indian Art Market in its 97th year. Um, you're out there for that this year, and you are actually able to take part in some really neat uh, uh, events in, during that week. And what's so cool about it is we think about Indian art, and a lot of people think about jewelry or paintings or pottery or things like that. Now we're seeing a lot of fashion, more Indian uh, designers making clothes, things like that. And uh, you were able to walk the runway on some fashion shows out there. So tell us a little bit about modeling and, and really how you got into that and how much you enjoy that. So what really started it was um, before coming out to Santa Fe, I had saw a couple things on Instagram that were talking about the Santa Fe Indian art market. And this was actually my first year going. Um, and it was talking about how they needed models. And, you know, I just kind of 
I was like, well, why not? Like, I'm going to be out there right at that time, so might as well try for it. And I got an email back, and I was booked for, like, three different fashion shows. And it was kind of intimidating just because, like, I've never done anything like that. And it was such a big event. But it was really exciting. Um, you know, they helped us out with everything. But so I got to model in, at the La Fonda for I Am Anishinaabe. I mean, it was an intimidating thing, but now I have, you know, this experience behind me and I feel like I could definitely do something with it while I'm out here because I have so much, especially like you said, like, you know, the native art is more, you know, it's coming up right now, especially here, which is really, really exciting. So I, I just think it's a really awesome experience. Now, is, is modeling something that you would maybe like to continue now that you've got a little preview of it, or is it something that you didn't think you would do and it was just maybe something that was pretty cool for this one time, or how are you feeling about that? Um, I definitely think that I could continue it, especially out here. I feel like there's a lot more opportunities for modeling events and stuff like that. Um, it wasn't really something that I was, you know, really going to do, I guess, but the opportunity came and I honestly really liked it, so we'll just see. What about art, uh, you know, in general, your art? What are you most most focused on artistically and, and, and improving and really furthering your education on it out there? So I'm studying studio arts, but my emphasis is in digital art. Um, I do a lot of, like, poster design, like, T-shirt design, so it's kind of, like, what I'm into right now is digital art, but I also do a lot of, like, other mediums. That's just my specific focus for my degree um right now i'm just doing like a lot of beading and painting and just honestly just trying to see what all i can get into while i'm out here since there's so many different mediums out here that i could use and so many different um opportunities so it's just a really awesome school to be able to try out different things and you know just see what what i like yeah and i imagine that it's it's pretty neat to to really talk and meet uh, natives from all over the country that come to that school that are just like you. They're, they're coming from their respective tribes. They're, they're wanting to uh, see what they can do in the art world, and, and they're just getting started, really. I mean, that must be neat, too, to be able to meet all these different types of people from, from different tribes and find out what life is like back at their nations. Yeah, for sure. I've definitely become more educated on a lot of, a lot of things here. Um, because of the diversity and because people come, are literally coming from all over the United States, even internationally. We have a couple international students here. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really interesting. Like, that's definitely been one of my favorite things about being out here is learning about the other cultures and the other tribes and, you know, how everything is different. Do you think it helped you maybe, um, you know, uh, tribal high school tribal college, now uh, tribal institution, or I mean, not, you know, owned by tribe or anything. I just mean, you know, an Indian school in all three of those things. Um, has you think that's probably helped you a little bit to be able to know sort of what it's like to be sort of that melting pot when you get there? Yeah, for sure. I'm definitely fortunate that I was able to um, attend, you know, all native schools pretty much. So like with Sequoia and then College of the Muscogee Nation and even here, it's a tribal school. But here, there's a lot more diversity, like I said. So, I I mean, I've definitely just been really thankful for these past couple of years, and it's just been a whirlwind of, uh, <laughs> like, crazy emotions. Right. Well, we certainly appreciate you uh, carving out a little bit of your day for us. We know that you had some, some classes earlier and everything like that, so we want to really say thank you for, uh, you know, taking some time to talk with us. We know that there's so many people back here in Muskogee Creek Nation to see stories like yours and see uh, young people like you doing great things. It's, uh, it's really a boost for the community, and it's, it's neat to be able to showcase it uh, here on the show. So we're really glad you were able to give us some time today. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> all right, well, we'll keep an eye on Maddie Lamb and make sure uh, we're keeping tabs on all the great things she's doing out there uh, and share with everybody back here home at Muskogee Creek Nation. Did you want to say anything to anyone back home here? Make sure everybody knows you're doing okay out there? <laughs> um, I think pretty much everyone keeps up with me. You know, <laughs> yeah. I'm on social media. And oh, yeah. But I don't know. I that, just, 
That's what Facebook's for, right? <laughs> All right. Well, hey, Maddie, thanks so much again. And uh, like I said, uh, great having you on the program. And, uh, you know, it looks seems to be the sky's the limit in the art world. And uh, maybe seeing some great digital art from you here in the future. Maybe for Muskogee Media. Who knows, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Have a great time. And uh, we'll, we'll talk to you soon, I'm sure. All righty then. All right. Sounds good.